What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back in front of the camera. I feel like it's been forever since I filmed and I am jumping back into this whole YouTube thing by doing a book review. So as you guys could probably tell from the title and the thumbnail, this is going to be a book review of The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Almertali. So this book has been all over YouTube. I've seen so many people talk about it. It's been all over just everywhere. Booktube, I believe is what the they call it if you have a book related channel. Um, so I've seen so many people recommend this. It's a YA contemporary. It is listed in my local library under teen. So it's in the teen section. And I was really curious about it. I'd heard so many good things. So I wanted to read it for myself and I did. And I have some thoughts. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts and hearing my review, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to read you guys the little blurb on the back here, and then I'll probably read you the um, inside little blurb before we get started in what I thought of this book. So it says, there's a reason I've had 26 crushes and no boyfriends. I don't entirely understand how anyone gets a boyfriend or a girlfriend. It just seems like the most impossible odds. You have to crush on the exact right person at the exact right moment, and they have to like you back. A perfect alignment of feelings and circumstances. So this book is about a 17-year-old girl named Molly who has had 26 crushes on 26 different guys, but they're all unrequited. She has never spoken her feelings to these guys. She has never done anything about her feelings, and so that it's all just kind of melted away, basically. She's never had a boyfriend. She's never been kissed, and she's going into her senior year of high school. So um, I'm going to read you guys the little blurb here inside because it gives a little bit more in-depth information. So it says 17 year old Molly Peskin Suso knows all about unrequited love. She's lived through it 26 times. She crushes hard and crushes often, but always in secret because no matter how many times her twin sister Cassie tells her to woman up, Molly can't stomach the idea of rejection. So she's careful. Fat girls always have to be careful. There's a cute new girl, then a cute new girl enters Cassie's orbit. And for the first time ever, Molly's cynical twin is a lovesick mess. Meanwhile, Molly's totally not dying of loneliness, except for the part where she is. Luckily, Cassie's new girlfriend comes with a cute hipster boy sidekick. Will is funny and flirtatious and just might be perfect crush material. Maybe more than crush material. And if Molly can win him over, she'll get her first kiss and she'll get her twin back. There's only one problem. Molly's coworker, Reed. He's an awkward Tolkien superfan with a season pass to the Ren Fair, and there's absolutely no way Molly could fall for him. Right? So, just a few things. Um, I know that this is a recently new release. Um, it says from my library stamp here in the front that it was released in April 2017. So that's a fairly new release. It's only a seven day loan um, at my library. So I got it read pretty quickly. I read it in about a day and a half. Um, so let's just get it out there right now. I did really enjoy this book. I liked it. I thought that Molly was um, pretty relatable to me as a teen in some ways. I definitely was not the person who made the first move when it came to boys in high school and um, and even still like I've been with my husband since I was 15 so we just we just kind of got over that awkward stage really really quickly but I do you know I see kind of like why she has these anxieties and I really, really liked it. I loved watching her journey of, you know, deciding between this guy, this hipster guy, Will, who's really cute, or her coworker, Reed, who she finds herself really attracted to. And um, it was the romance in it was really cute. I mean, it's a YA contemporary, so it's going to be like all like feelsy and it's going to make you feel good. Um, it was funny. There was there were a few things that I really could not relate to, um, especially like. As you guys would have heard in the little blurb in the front, Molly's sister Cassie is a lesbian. I don't relate to that, obviously, and so that was a little bit different, um, as well as the fact that Cassie and Molly were actually raised by lesbian moms. So that was something that I didn't really know going into the book, that um, it was just hard for me to relate as I did not grow up in that type of household. But still... I mean, I did enjoy it. I think that it was well written. Um, there's actually quite a bit of language in this. So if you're a parent who's watching and, you know, you're a younger teen um, or even older teen, if you don't want them exposed to some pretty frequent and pretty strong language, um, I would definitely put that out there and just say there there is a lot of that. Um, there's some underage drinking in here and there's a lot of mentions of, 
you know, um, sexual components. So just kind of throwing that one out there as well. Like I know it's a teen book and I know that, you know, teenagers these days are definitely more, um, educated on that type of thing than they might've been in the past, but it's still definitely an older teen, um, novel, but as I said, it was well written. I did enjoy it. I liked Molly as a main character. I was rooting for her the whole time. I thought that, you know, her character was very complex, and I, as I said, I related to some of her feelings. I thought that it was, um, you know, pretty relatable for a lot of girls. I, I know that there's a lot of girls out there who feel like maybe they're not as desirable as other girls, or they might not be able to get that, you know, crush to like them back. Um, and I see, I've seen a lot of this happen in my friends' lives as well, so I think that the characters were um, pretty strong, and I enjoyed it. So, as I said, I did get it from my library, but it does say on here, this is the hardcover, it does say that it retails for $17.99. I'm going to link it for you guys on Amazon or wherever I can find it, maybe like Barnes & Noble or something, but I will link it for you guys down below. And... That's about it. That's really all I have to say. Um, I did enjoy it. It's it's not like I regret reading it or whatever. If it sounds like something that you would be interested in, I think that you should pick it up. And I will close this out here now. So if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below so that you can be notified when I review another book or when I make a makeup video or when I'm just sitting in front of the camera on a Tuesday afternoon talking to myself. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.